When we found out, I got extremely emotional. I cried. It wasn't that my child was blind that made me cry. I had no idea how to raise a blind child. How old are you? You're four. She's four years old. She has septo-optic dysplasia. She is blind in both eyes. And say, I'm a twin. I'm a twin. She's the oldest twin, and her twin has no visual impairments or anything. Okay. I had to have her early because her placenta um, was not functioning correctly, so she wasn't getting any kind of nutrition or anything. The doctors, I think, knew right away that there was something wrong with her eyes. Um, there was no help. All he said was, your child's blind, have a good day. I mean, I didn't know where to turn. And we finally decided that we're just going to have to be her eyes. So we learned to visually speak everything to her. Well, her storybook, I guess you can say. Put it on the top. I had to do a research paper for college. And the first thing I come upon was stem cells. And um, started reading up about SLD. And we uh, found Baker. We actually watched videos. We found people on Facebook. And uh, kids that received stem cells and, you know, had her condition, we're seeing. It just sounded too good to be true. But we figured out that this is safe, we feel comfortable. This is number three. Yes, this is number three. This is our second time. Our first time we came in July of 16. And before we left, she was seeing light and this is a little girl that saw nothing. So it was, it was pretty awesome to see her actually see something. And we got that on videotape, so that was pretty cool. So her first time, we can always go back and see again. So yeah, it was before we even left here that we started seeing improvements. And then when we went back home, we started slowly seeing more progression and now she is seeing the difference between light and dark, and she has more independence. She's more confident. Um, typically, when we walk somewhere, she wants your hand, and now she wants to walk by herself. She doesn't want mommy or daddy's help. Like any other parent that has a kid, when the kid says, oh, I love you, you're so beautiful, you know, we hope something like that. We can, maybe Caitlin can, can do that one day, you know. If she can get just a little bit of vision, you know, uh, with the help of glasses, we'll be happy with. If this is the best that she's going to get, we'll be happy with because she is seeing light. So, but, you know, I mean, we, we, we hope and pray that, uh, you know, she'll be able to see our face one day, be able to see her sis sister's face. Can you look at Daddy? Look at Daddy with your eyes. Do you think cheese? Roll tutting Mondays and Tuesdays, and uh, every Friday is stem cells. This time she got spinal, and she actually got uh, eye injections on, on each eye, and also IV injection stem cells. She has received uh, TMS, hyperbaric chamber, and water therapy and OT, as well as acupuncture. The hospital's been wonderful, and the staff has been wonderful. They're wonderful with children. Uh, they love her to death. It's almost like family. If we have any concerns, they are here to help us. We're not walking around scared or confused, not knowing what to do. Everything's taken care of, and she's very happy here. She's learned Thai, or some Thai. Comes back in my car. What does that mean? How are you? How are you? I would definitely say, do it. <laughs> it's 100% worth it. It has been uh, exceptional, actually. You see it? Yeah. Get it. Good job. Oh. What is this? This is white. Mm -hmm. Good job. Yellow. Yellow. Keep 
Okay. Our hopes is just the one day that she, you know, when she gets older and she falls in love and she gets to buy her wedding dress and she gets to see how beautiful she is in it. Just to see herself, just the reflection. We just really want her to be a happy child, a happy adult. Yeah.